There are claims of a coming blue wave in Washington state after last Tuesday's primaries in which Democrats did well. Now, this could spell bad news for gun owners if it becomes true. And our ATV correspondent, Carrie Pickett, joins us now with this story. Carrie. Right, Dana. Washington state primary results from last week show that Second Amendment rights could be on the line if conservatives fail to show up in big numbers at the polls the way they failed to do so last week during the primaries. One Second Amendment activist in the Evergreen State told conservativefiringline.com that he and other activists are frustrated over the low voter turnout. He said the state is, quote, in trouble in relation to gun rights over the fact that only 25 to 27 percent of eligible voters who would support Second Amendment rights came out to the polls. Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers, House Republican Conference Chair, for example, found herself in a very tough primary and will be facing off in what is predicted to be a very rough general race for her. Gun control activists pushed for a number of gun control related measures to be on the ballot in Washington State come November. These, these particular measures are embedded in Initiative 1639. Here's a gun rights activist facing off with a gun control activist in Washington State last June who are collecting signatures for Initiative 1639. Why do you want to criminalize uh, gun ownership? Why are you collecting signatures for a petition that criminalizes gun ownership? It does not criminalize. Oh, it absolutely does c criminalize gun ownership. Sir, Should we look at I'm the back? Sorry Should we look at the back? Having, let's, let's look at the back. Come on, let's look at the back. You can look at the back all you want. Absolutely. Let's see all 30 pages of this initiative. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Doesn't criminalize it? Really? Not at all. No. Where's Where's the penalty for if you're a gun owner and you have your gun stolen and it's using a crime? Me. Show it to me. Yeah. Show it to me. Okay. If you'd like to have a conversation. Show it to me. You would like to show have a me where the criminal. Where? Show me where the like penalty is. Person. Show me where the penalty is. You yeah. know about the initiative. Show me so where the check penalty it out, is. Homie. So basically, the only penalty that it is is if you know you. No. Sign, you show, buy me the the, show, okay, me show me the. Show me it. I'm Show showing you right here. That doesn't mean anything. It's Show it to me on the initiative. Okay. So. Show me on the back side of it. I have a question for you. Sure. Okay. So why are you so hell bent and determined to give me a hard time? Because this is a horrible law, and you're helping a horrible law get on the ballot. Okay. But it's a it's horrible law. It criminalizes gun. It criminalizes gun ownership. It puts a. You uh, that it puts I an artificial. You realize that I it puts an artificial. It purpose. puts an artificial restriction on a constitutional right. Now, Dana, the, yeah, propo this proposal is a set of gun control measures that would implement restrictions on the purchase and ownership of firearms, including raising the minimum age to buy a, a firearm, particularly a semi-automatic one, to 21. It would also in in include dealing with private transfers and sales of background checks, waiting periods, and storage mandates. Dana? Quick question. When it raises the age to, of purchase to 21, I'm sure all of those individuals who are having their rights stripped from them, I'm sure they've received due process, right, Carrie? I'm sure the law is consistent and allows for that. Well, I'm sure this is something that a number of uh, gun owners, particularly over in Washington State, should definitely want to uh, look into as they should probably head to the polls on this should this uh, actually get onto the ballot. So we'll see. Yeah, absolutely. All those people, all those good people that I've met in Washington that live out in the, they don't live in the, uh, in the urban areas. They live out in the country and they, they live away from the cities and the, and the traffic and the congestion. They need to all come out and go vote, definitely, with all of this. And the good 2A people in the cities need to go out and vote too. Carrie, good to see you. Thank you.